through 27. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed by what he does. We have to be proactive with our faith. We can't just be like, oh yeah, you know, I, you know, I, I can read the Bible. We have to do it. Our soul is the will, is our will to live. Um, so we have to do what is right. The way we love God with our soul is doing what we know in our spirit to be right. And we have to flee from temptation. You know, um, stay away from those places we know are bad for us. You know, if you have a problem with drinking, stay away from the bar. If you have a problem with gossip, stay away from those people who gossip or conversations that lead to gossip. Um, if you have a problem with pornography, stay away from the computer when you're by yourself. You know, those, those simple steps, doing what you know is right in your heart. Um, if you have a problem with cheating, stay away from tests altogether. <laughs> Don't even, okay, bad idea. Okay, never mind, whatever. You guys are no fun. No. Um, when you catch yourself with wrong motives, you know, choose to have the right motives. Choose to ha right, that have the right heart. And if you don't know what that is, get to know God. Read his word. Understand what his heart is. You know? Um, feed the poor. Walk the little old lady across the street. I actually did that the other day. That was interesting. Um, I'll tell you about that later, though. Um, you know, but here's the big one. When God tugs on your heart and you know you should talk to that person about him, and he's like, dude, I need you to talk to him right now because we are kind of not having a good relationship and you just need to please talk to him. And, but it's kind of awkward and scary. Uh, kids, we're going to go through this at Dare to Share. Um, so be prepared to love God with the hardcore awkwardness. Just saying. Uh, right, Sarah? Right? Yeah. Sarah knows what I'm talking about. Um, so, but Dare to Share is all about sharing your faith um, with other people, and they actually have us put it into practice, which is um, amazing, which is what we're going to do this coming weekend. So I'm really excited. Um, you know, maybe apologizing for things that you've done wrong or uh, to others or um, getting closer to uh, an estranged friend or calling them up, you know, just doing what you know in your heart to be right from reading the Word of God. Love God with the very essence of who you are every day with whatever you do. Love God. That's loving God with your soul. So we know how to overcome trials, deception, and temptation by loving God with our hearts, minds, and souls. So what's the fourth step? We have to be prepared for anything by loving God with all your strength. Putting every effort into doing these things. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Maybe another character can help us know what that actually means. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Doreen, I'm singing. Oh, 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 I love to swim. And when you want to swim, you want See, to See, I'm gonna get stuck on. now with that song. Now it's in my head. Sorry. Don't give up. God is with you. This scripture 
says, Consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. We develop perseverance. We, we, we begin to get stronger. If we go, if we go through life without <coughs> trials, then, then what's the point? You can't get stronger if you're not tested. Today I want to challenge you to think about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Just think about where you're at. And understand that when we focus on that relationship and when we try our hardest with all of our strength, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, that those things that seem so overbearing, those things that seem like such a big burden become light. Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light. He has come to free us from those things that so easily entangle us. Christ is here, and we just have to reach out to him. We just have to take a hold of his truth, get closer to him, sing to him, get to know his heart, spend time alone with him, get into his word, get, it, get his word into your mind. Do the word. Do it. You know, make it happen with, your, with all of your strength. Do these things. And that is the greatest commandment that God has given us. So in conclusion, I just want you to remember that we have to love our God, our, the Lord our God, with all our heart by getting to know his heart. And then when we face trials, it'll, be, it'll go well with us. To love the Lord our God with all our minds by reading his word, and we will be able to recognize the devil's deception to love the Lord our God with all of our souls by doing what we know to be right. And we will flee from temptation. Love the Lord your God with all your strength by sticking with it. Keep going. Don't give up. He is with you. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for your word. God, and I thank you for the life that you led on earth, Lord Jesus, and, and your character and who you are, Lord Jesus. I praise you, God, that, that you loved us and you still love us with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and all your strength, Lord God. And I just ask, God, that we might be able to have that same power, Lord God, to love you with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, Lord Jesus. Lord God, you love us so much, Lord Jesus. And I just ask that we would live a life of thankfulness, Lord God, and devotion to you, 